Installation and use of the optional shoe cleats. Note, your machine may not match exactly. Clipless shoes, the kind that clip right into the pedals, help you make the most efficient use of your power. Clipless shoes allow you to use your entire pedal stroke, including the upstroke, since you are attached to the pedals. Supplied as an optional accessory, the two bolt clips can be used with the pedals when installed into cycling shoes. Cycling shoes are not supplied with your machine. Be sure that your cycling shoes are configured with the two bolt fastening system. The shoe clips fit both the right and left pedals. A 4 mm hex wrench will be needed to install the cleats. A pair of pliers and a 3 mm hex wrench may also be needed. 1. If present, pull off the rubber cover to expose the clip mounting holes on the bottom of the cycling shoes with a pair of pliers. 2. From the bottom of the shoe, put the anti-skid sheet in position over the cleat holes and then a cleat. Be sure that the single arrow on the cleat points towards the toe of the shoe. Attach the cleats and, if present, the cleat adapter to the cycling shoes. Secure the screws, but do not fully tighten. Three, the cleat has an adjustment range. Practice engaging with the pedal and releasing, one shoe at a time. Readjust to determine the best cleat position. Four, using a four millimeter hex wrench, fully tighten the cleat mounting bolts. Using the cleats. Warning. Prior to use, make sure you understand the operation of the engagement release mechanism for the pedals and cleats. Shoes. 1. With the cleat fastener on the pedal upward, push the shoe cleat down and forward to engage it. 2. Repeat with the other foot. 3. Push the shoe heel outward and lift to release the cleat from the pedal. 4. Practice engaging and disengaging from the pedals before starting your workout. Adjust the retention level of the cleats. After using the cleats, you may realize the retention level of the cleats should be adjusted. To adjust the retention level, 1. Locate the opening in the rear of the pedal for access to the adjustment bolt. It is between the two screws that attach the foot restraint to the pedal. 2. Use a 3 mm hex wrench to turn the adjustment bolt. To decrease the retention, turn it counterclockwise. To increase the retention, turn it clockwise. 3. Try out the adjustment retention level. Continue to adjust the retention level as necessary. 